Um, <clears throat> all right, welcome everyone. Uh, I hope you guys are having an awesome Monday. Uh, yeah, it is, it is Monday. <laughs> it is Monday. Um, yeah, it is Monday. Um, let's see. Cool. It is Monday. But yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, this is the, this is the photo you guys, uh, this is the photo I'm going to be editing today. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to explain each process as it goes on. I hope I don't <laughs> I didn't forget anything but uh, so the remember the point of me creating the specific style is so this has been edited already and recorded so I'm, I'm playing it for you guys to watch so so that you can ask me to stop and explain anything you wanted to know or you can ask me any question uh, in regards to what has been done and so on and so on so yeah uh, so if you have any question please just pop it pop it in the in the comment section or yeah uh, hope you guys enjoy I'm just gonna play it now so the the first step that is happening now uh, is usually my first step is the crop so uh, if you notice uh, especially with the door behind her you can see it's a little bit skew so that's why um, I was able to use the crop tool uh, use the crop to to just straighten it up from there and then after that I think I was able to do the cropping and so on yeah so like I said it's uh, uh, the way I crop isn't isn't specific but uh, I'm sure most of you have realized in most of my photos I always keep I, I like to keep uh, stuff in landscape so yeah so the the next step that I'm that I'm doing now is uh, using the patch tool to re, uh, to remove uh, the things that I don't want there in the shot, and it's pretty cool. So I think the next process I did here uh, for the big baskets, I think I was using the uh, what they call it. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I think I, I did <laughs> go for cropping first. Yeah, yeah. So I think I was trying to use a little bit of the rule of Todd here, putting her at that angle there to the far left. And so on. So I think after this, uh, let's just wait and see what happens. <laughs> and so on. Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, so I think yeah, so this is also the process where I use the uh, the content aware too, which is which is really cool. I think is one of the things I really enjoy the most uh, in Photoshop lately, especially with removing uh, things. It just makes life so much easier. You can see how everything is gone, uh, and so it basically just like I don't know how the the hey, I think does it. So it literally just duplicates. Uh, uh, no, so it looks around where you've selected and see what blends in properly into into that situation and so on. So yeah, uh, let me just do a quick shout out to everyone watching. Uh, hello, Kenley. Thanks for joining in. Given Nicole, uh, Gifts, Obakeng, Bianca, uh, Obakeng again, <laughs> Ray's, uh, DJ, Modulati. Awesome, welcome guys. All right, cool. So if you notice, I think I'm I'm still using the the content hour two here, and yeah, you see the way it it goes here. Let's see, yeah, perfect. So it goes to the content hour two, and it's so easy. Like it just makes your life so much easier. Yeah. Because the other thing, uh. Uh, uh, 
Because the other thing when it comes to editing is you have to find a way that uh, I think uh, uh, the other thing is especially I think this goes to most photographers is to um, how to explain it. Um, we have to make life easier for ourselves and also to work a bit faster because one of the key things in photography now is a uh, delivery delivery time i think they call it a return time or something yeah yeah so if you are able to like figure out a way to edit your photos uh quite quick um and deliver in time yeah you have your, your clients will be happy of course it does take time that's why you have to create a, a technique that works for you and helps you with workflow and so on so hence why you need uh, all these few tips and tricks here and there to help you uh, make your work go a bit faster and so on cool. so the process happening right now is just removing the spots on the face here and there and um, I, I was using the alien tool. I, I prefer using the alien tool. There are other tools you can use, like the patch tool itself, um, the patch tool, uh, the clone tool. But I just prefer using the alien tool. I think it's just a bit um, softer in capacity and a bit easier for me to use in particular. So yeah, but otherwise you can use whatever it's uh, comfortable for you and. You probably have something that you use already so yeah uh, in in that case it's completely up to you uh, what you find more convenient for you to use and so on yeah okay I'm not sure what I'm doing here okay there it is cool so I think I was taking care of the neck area cool yeah <clears throat> yeah i hope you guys are having an awesome monday though but as you can see mine is back to work already uh, no uh there is no rest or anything like that no other day i'm really looking forward to december though uh well i'm yet to decide what's gonna happen though because i'm 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 considering um visiting cape town uh for a quick uh photo shoot sessions and workshops and so on but i'll let you guys know if it's gonna happen but yeah my december is quite encouraging hey hello joe welcome joe okay yeah let's welcome the rest of people that join us hello hello okay welcome funzo welcome lutenang and welcome joe all right I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the session and like i said just feel free to drop any question in the comment session that you might have for me um yeah and let's enjoy it together so yeah uh this week is uh it's gonna be a hectic one for me actually uh i think today is actually the only day i'm a little bit free uh today is the only day I'm, I'm a little bit free but for the rest of the week i'm actually shooting but i'm really looking forward to it uh definitely looking forward to it and uh I'm gonna be going to a place tomorrow for a photo shoot. I'm gonna be visiting that place for the first time. I'm really excited about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about it. And um, Wednesday, Wednesday I've got a workshop. I've got a one-on-one -on -one workshop with Cebu. And Thursday, what do I have on Thursday? I know I have some kind of shoot or something. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, I've got a music video on Thursday. And Friday, I've got another portfolio shoot. Uh, let's see. Awesome. Cool. So uh, the process I'm busy with now is the uh, the retouching, skin texture, uh, color balance, and so on. Yeah. So this is uh, you can see I'm going a little bit quicker. Uh, that's because, like I said, the more you do it, the more you get used to used to it. And uh, yeah. Everything just works really perfect once you figure out how you do your stuff and uh, you know exactly what to do and, and so on. So it's just, it's, I think it's, it's nothing but practice. 
it's nothing but practice because the more you practice the more you get used to it and uh, it takes less time less time every time you do it because you know exactly what to do and you just do it so it's not like you're trying to figure out things and so on hey welcome ross how are you uh okay i think now that you came on now i remember <laughs> okay i'm sure you know what i'm about to ask you but yeah please let me know uh please send me an update you know what i've been waiting for from you so yeah cool all right so i'm gonna push the music up a little bit now because the words the editing is almost done already but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying it uh it's gonna be live or uh, it's gonna be on the on the on the page so you can actually watch it again later if you miss any part but yeah there cool and uh i think this this is the part that has always been tricky i think i still find a little bit tricky that is like balancing this the skin tones and so on because if you notice what i did there on the leg i had to i had to um I had to balance the skin tone of her hand face to the leg otherwise the leg would have looked a bit uh, dead but that's what happens especially because of the way uh, the photo was light or something like that but yeah so the next step I'm doing now is the touch and burn uh, uh, let me welcome everyone uh, the rest of people welcome even welcome Picasso yeah so uh the next step i'm busy with now is the dodge and burn uh currently on the dodge as you can see on the panel to your right as the dodge but uh so the dodge and burn i use uh especially when i'm uh, highlighting uh, uh to highlight like facial features and so on so is there a big difference in the way that you spot alien brush versus patch 2 or spot alien brush works it's just preference uh I don't I think there is a difference because otherwise they wouldn't they wouldn't have different names so yeah but for me the Elin 2 is just so much easier for me to um to remove spots it's just so much easier for me patch 2 is also cool but it's just like I have to like drag to wrap around the spot and move it why with Elin 2 I just copy and paste so it's uh, so the the main reason I'm folk I use the Elin to I enjoy it so much more is because it's quicker for me. It's like a copy and paste thing, and uh, and yeah. So it's just uh, it's just my option to use because even when I still watch tutorials for editing to learn uh, new things here uh, every time. So and I know people still use uh, uh, Clone Two. People use Clone Two. People use Patch Two. Uh, people use a uh, uh, there's this brush thing. Uh, I never use it anyways. But well, let's see. I'm looking for the name now. The mixer brush. Yeah, people use the mixer brush as well. But I I barely use them because it's yeah. I think it's just a matter of that. I'm I'm used to the Elin two and it's uh it just gets everything done quicker for me. Uh, basically like that. Cool. Hey, hello, Picasso. Welcome, Kainsile. <laughs> so the next part that I... Oh my. Yeah, so the next one I'm doing now is the dodge. I think it's probably done with that already. Closing the group. And so on. I think I'm going to post this photos probably like next week uh, because this was a project I did last week. So this is just a quick before and after of everything that has changed and so on. All right. Uh, so also after this you can still uh, ask me any question you might have in regards to editing and photo shoot and so on because as you can see I'm almost finishing up already so what I'm basically doing right now is the color grading and uh, yeah the process I'm doing now is the color grading and after the color grading I think I'm gonna sharpen up the image just a little bit so as you can see I have I don't just use one color grading but it depends on the photo though but for this particular series, um, I've been using two color gradings. Uh, so it's just like a, I use one as a foundation, and then I use one to, to pop the foundation. 
uh, and so on. Okay. Hello, Zozo. Welcome. Cool. I'm gonna pretend like I know what this song is. <laughs> and the name of the model is Tapsy, by the way. I'm sure most of you know her. I actually did it. I had no idea who she was <laughs> when we were working together for the first time. And um, and she was super awesome. She's freaking amazing to work with. She dropped a new track last week, I think. Yeah, a Sefile or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try. So yeah, and she's a really amazing artist as well. So basically what I'm doing now, right now is sharpening the, the, the photo, but you probably won't see that panel because of uh, OBS. OBS uh, just does a little bit of copyright thing for me in there. So <laughs> you didn't see what's happening. But yeah, like I said, if you uh, have any question, you can always drop it in the comment section or you can just drop me a question uh, and I'll get back to you, definitely. Okay. Awesome. All right, there's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to post the photo uh, very soon. Let's see. I'm going to post the photo very soon, probably next week, like I said, because I have to release the photo uh, uh, in combination with the rest of the photo from the project. But yeah. So uh, thanks everyone for joining. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this session. Please let me know what you think of this idea of me uh, just playing the video for you, recording the video and playing it for you so that I can have more conversation and take questions while we watch together. And so on. let me know what you think of that idea. And so on. So uh, shout out to everyone again who joined in. I mean, you know, it's a busy afternoon. It's a Monday. But thank you all for joining in. Thank you. Uh, Kenlin, Given, Nicole, Gifts, Obakeng, Bianca, Race, DJ, Modilat, Funzo, Lutenang, Joe, Ross, Ivan, Picasso, <laughs> Kenny Selene, Zozo. Yeah, thanks everyone. Wish I was this quick. <laughs> Yeah, it's just practice. It's just practice. The the more you get used to it, the the, the quicker you, you get at it. But yeah. So thanks again everyone. I really, really appreciate you guys. Cheers guys. Bye.